may have seen these big grand balloon displays behind me if you've gone to a Rockets or an Astros game. The owner of the company that does those balloons tells us her team barely made an event at Minute Maid Park for Orbit's birthday this weekend because someone stole her truck and trailer. She spoke only with ABC 13 associate producer Priscilla Riojas about why this loss is impacting her livelihood. I'm more disappointed, you know, than anything just because I that was the last thing I would expect to happen to us. The city has been so good to us. If you went to the Astros home opener this week, you saw her work and probably took pictures in front of her display welcoming fans back to Minimaid Park. Elizabeth Yenda owns Liz's Beautiful Events and they specialize in making over the top grand displays. She also did this creation to welcome fans back to Minimaid Park for the first time during the pandemic last year. And our goal is just to go over the top for all your parties and celebrations and being a part of your big moments. Today, she and her team were supposed to deliver a display to Minute Maid for Orbit's birthday, but their truck and the trailer she uses for deliveries were missing. At first, our initial reaction was we thought maybe it had gotten towed. We made some calls and then realized that it was stolen, so we made a police report and Honestly, at first it was shocking and then um, followed with devastation. Don't worry, she managed to pull off the job, but it wasn't easy and took extra expenses. Even though we didn't have the means to get there and our rentals were taken from us, um, our goal was still to bring the extra, which is what we were hired to do today for the Houston Astros. Tanda says this was no easy task to take the trailer. It isn't small and is quite unique. The trailer is 24 feet. It is a big... Um, trailer. It's very recognizable. Honestly, very surprised that someone would steal it because it seems like more hassle than anything. If you spot the trailer, call Houston police. Tienda tells us the trailer is a big part of her livelihood and has this message. If we're not getting to jobs and producing, then, you know, we're not making income. So it is my livelihood and I try to be as positive as possible, but you know, it's very disappointing that, you know, people would steal from people that work so hard. Priscilla Riojas, Eyewitness News.